Hearts of Iron Force, such an exquisite game gifted to us from the paradox gods of yore. I have spent a plentiful amount of time playing this game, and most of this time was spent on mods. And oh how we've completely destroyed this game. Today might actually be the worst way we've destroyed this game, by giving every country in this game a Hong Kong of their own. See, did you want some free real estate on the coast of China? Well, now's your opportunity because everybody gets free real estate on the coast of China, yeah. Even China gets free real estate on the coast of China. They get their own treaty port on their own coast. It's the best deal ever. But yeah, you have everybody's here. You know, it's Ireland, Australia, Hungary, Colombia, Spain. It's just everybody. I could go through all of them, but it's actually everybody. Very beautiful. It's kind of a symbolic act of world peace, you know? That's what this is. And I wanted to take a second to say, Happy July. If you're listening to this, you've made it six months through the year. That means it's halfway over. You've made it halfway, so congratulations. Also, thanks to everybody who has subscribed three-fourths of the way to a good 10,000, which is very insane. We might take hit it before my first year anniversary on YouTube, so that would be quite the treat. Who do we play as? Do we have to play as China and reclaim every Hong Kong? Maybe we play as Japan? I don't think I've played as Japan in a while. Oh no, they took stuff from us. Now we can't naval invade China either, except right here. And then it's kind of a weird corridor, but uh, oh well, we'll just figure out how to deal with this, I guess. This is really, really bad though, because now we don't have this level 5 naval base connected over here. This makes China pretty well defended now. Um, yeah. Huh. These are all level 6 naval bases though. Oh wait, and the other Chinas even have their own? <laughs> Hong Kongs? Oh. Wow. So, oh, that's good though. So this one is also invadable and it's a level six port, which is really good. Where's communist China? Oh, communist China's is there. So this peninsula is still open to naval invasions. This is still really annoying, but we'll, we'll do whatever. It should be fine. Oh, wait a second. Wait, what? Look at this. It's the great Hong Kong Federation led by Oswald Mosley. What? what? Why? Why is this a thing? I thought this was every country gets their own Hong Kong. Why? Why is this a thing? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh well. They're at war with the regular United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. Well, not yet the Commonwealth. They have zero factories. <laughs> Maybe we should just declare war on them. I kind of feel bad for the Greater Hong Kong Union now. They don't have any core states. Looks like resistance is pretty bad. Um, all they really have is ports. That's their only commodity. I don't think they have any resources. They don't, they don't have anything. No factories. I, I don't know why this is even a thing. Okay, time to fight the war, I guess. Um, this is very unique. I've never fought a war against somebody who has a port for every tile. I probably could have made this even a bigger meme and just planned a ton of naval invasions randomly, but I don't really think that's too necessary. We'll just put both these armies on aggressive and battle plan it out. Oh. What? Oh, we just won the civil war for the UK. So now the allies own the entire coast of China. Um, this this isn't fun. It would be fun if we were the UK and we just got all of the coast of China, but um, yeah. For Japan, this is a nightmare. Um, oh, um, I accidentally sent volunteers to the wrong Spain. Oh well, I guess we'll just have some fun getting some experience. This looks really bad for nationalist Spain though. This is like, this is the worst scenario ever for them. So oh well, we'll just get some experience and have a good old time. Okay, this is somehow the worst possible timeline for the nationalists possible because not only are they already losing the war and their capital was disconnected to most of the chunks of stuff they got, but now France is at war with them too. 
Why did this happen? Oh, I feel so bad for them. At least we'll be able to get enough air experience, I think, to make some okay fighter ones for now. As long as we can get to 90 experience in time, we should be fine to do what I need to do. Oh, and things only continue to get more interesting. Now France is in a civil war also. Oh, when Manchuko is trying to become free, ah. Uh. This was already bad enough. We're already trying to fight China without any naval invasions possible. Okay, so I don't know how to say this, but um, the Chinese United Front didn't form, which is good, but there is one thing which is bad. China's guaranteed by the UK. At least none of the other Chinas are guaranteed by the UK, so technically I could just go after the, the other Chinas, I guess. And I've had to spend so much of my industry just building up infrastructure here, and the infrastructure is still terrible, but whatever, I guess. Okay, well, they're done. They're kind of annoying, a lot of mountainous terrain there. But I really want to go to war with normal China. It just seems like a really bad idea to go to war with the UK so early on in the game. Germany's at war and the US just joined them. So now we would go to war with the US too. Why is the US and the Allies so early? How did this even, oh, 100% world tension. Oh, and thank you, Minchuko. I almost forgot that you were going independent. This is a sad day. It's like this game, it's like this game couldn't get any worse already, but now Ching China joins the Axis. Everything has gone wrong. China capitulated. Even if we went to war with China now, it'd be impossible. This is exactly what we needed. Uh, invite to faction. The British Empire invites us to their faction. Perfect. Okay, British Empire, we need you to bring divisions over. And factions outweigh guarantees so we can now declare war on China freely without being attacked by the UK. I kind of wish there was a way I could just call them into the one war and not call them to war with Germany. And I guess I need to hurry and call them to war before all the British Empire's colonies leave them, all the dominions. You know, let's just go ahead. Let's just declare this thing. Let's start it. Nothing's ever gonna change. Wait, did Italy join the Allies? Oh yeah, they did. Well, that makes things interesting. It's not a very favorable position to hold. Germany's at war with Poland, but so is the Soviet Union, so it doesn't really matter that much. Oh. So Yunin became the controller of China, but then they joined the Comintern. Oh no. Only if they were closer to capitulating, but they're not now, because all the victory points are down here. Once the Soviet Union declares war on us, it's over. It's just a race, okay. <laughs> okay, I got to their victory points over here and capitulated China. We're still at war with France and India down here and the Soviet Union and Mongolia in the north. We should 
probably put some divisions up there, yeah. Because now they're just going to be bringing all their divisions. I guess I can just make a fallback line here for India. Oh, we're at war with them now, too. We'll hurry and put our divisions down here, and I guess, I guess why not just put this army here and go into India. This, this is just bad. There's nothing we can do here. We're at war with the entire world. We have the US and they're invading Mexico. This is probably the worst Japan game ever, so I guess giving everybody their own Hong Kong didn't actually work. I wouldn't recommend playing this way. I know, shocker. Hope you enjoyed. This is still pretty interesting, and see you all next time. <laughs>